What's going on YouTube? It's Parrothead Picker here, coming at you with a brief little instructional video on uh, kind of how I package up my shirts. Um, a couple of the viewers uh, who happened to see one of my previous videos, um, one of my clothing videos, uh, anyway, asked me, um, how do you uh, how do you package your your stuff? So anyway, I just sold these two shirts here a few minutes ago, so I figured I'd come downstairs and do my little workspace office area. I started doing these up, and I was like, you know what? What a good time to just take and uh, to show you guys. So hopefully, uh, maybe uh, you know, you get a little idea on how I do things. I don't know. Maybe you guys do something different. Uh, you know, if you do, uh, leave me a comment below. Uh, you know, I don't know everything about everything, but uh, this typically this works really well for me. I get great feedback out of it. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of comments on uh, very professionally done, blah 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 blah. Uh, but anyway, uh, so this is how I do it. Um, things you need uh, pretty much are uh, I use these uh, 10 by 13 clear uh, cello uh, cello bags. Um, you can get these on eBay. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. I usually order them in like 250. Um, at a time and that lasts me, you know, maybe three months or so um, Just at the volume that I end up doing um, Then I also use these uh, 10 by 13 uh, Poly mailers, which you know probably most of you sellers on on eBay already use um, and then anyway, uh, I just take and uh, poly bag my um, My shirts I triple fold them. I'll show you how to do that here in a minute and then just slide them in the thing and then I uh, I'll slap these little uh, I don't know if you can see it. Thank you for your business. Uh, little gold stickers on my on my bag. I think it looks nice. Like I say, I guess that's just my opinion. But you know, it looks nicer than just being wadded up and tossed in a box. Um, I hate that when I order something off eBay and something's all just wadded up in a bag or box or bubble mailer, and they just you know no care in the world. It just it irritates me. I mean, my product arrives fine. It's you know it is what it is. But uh, I think presentation really helps with feedback, and that's why. Like my little stickers don't say anything about feedback. Um, another personal thing is I, I don't like the idea of what I call pimping for feedback. Um, like I said, if you put out a good product, uh, the feedback comes. I get great feedback on, you know, how quick everything's done, how nice the clothes are, how professional it all looks. You know, that, that's that, that's what's going to bring your feedback. You don't have to put stickers. Plus, most of the feedback stickers mention the word before you leave a negative. Well, you know. Now you just put the word negative into the into the buyer's mind. So if anything comes up, you know, already, you know, they're already thinking negative. If they're, if they're even just the slightest, you know, that's already put in their head where, you know, I, I don't mention anything like that. Just, hey, thank you for your business. And, you know, we just, I just leave it at that. That's why I like the thank you stickers. Um, like I said, they're not necessary, just something that I do. Um, anyway, uh, I'll show you kind of how I do the uh, the folds on the shirt. Simply take my shirts, lay them out, try to get them as flat as possible, and then, you know, I'll just uh, I'll do a nice little triple fold on them. Fold my cuffs in so everything's all nice. You can kind of see, you know, I'll take and bring my, uh, bring my shirt in about as close to the, the collar as I can. You know, just fold it up nice and um, anyway, so you got it looking you know about the size of whatever you know your mailer is then you just fold her up so I just put a nice little kind of figure out about where a third is or about whatever size your your mailer is and just fold it fold it and one last time get it all nice and square and flat and just flip her over you know I'll straighten it out sometimes straighten the tag out and then you just slip her in your uh, in your poly bag, slap a stick or in your uh, clear cello bag, put it in the poly bag, toss her on your scale. Um, you know, scale is a great investment. I don't know if you have one of these or not, but these are a uh, great investment. They're not very expensive and they will save you a ton of money on shipping. So um, you can pick these up on Amazon. This here is the AccuCheck. Um, I believe it's good up to yeah, 86 pounds. I don't think I paid. Twenty dollars for this um, a great invest investment for your business or you know even if you just do this part-time what have you um, anyway I hope this video was helpful um, if you have any comments or suggestions on you know how you do things if you if you like how I do it or what have you you know leave me a comment below or you know feedback um, anyway uh, keep uh, you know check out my other videos and uh, you know, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, anyway, uh, we will uh, catch y'all later. As always, fins up. Bye.